Hallo en welkom to today's video. Today is gonna be our night ride in the preparation for the Dutch Thousand. Temperature is about 15 degrees, 12 degrees, something like that. It's quite windy. Not sure if you can hear or see that. Um, it's about 9 o'clock, so it's the sun, the sun starts to set. Uh, it's gonna be roughly 9, 8, 7 degrees, something something like that uh, the coldest the temperature uh, yeah let's uh, let's see uh, how it goes today the, the route will take us uh, to Zeeland I'll pop it up on the screen uh, right now the first bit will be high highway so will not show you too much um, and then we go to Zeeland make a few loops over the islands and go back to, uh, towards Rotterdam the route's about 400 kilometers takes about six hours but We'll see how far we get and see when we call it, uh, call it a night. We can uh, skip a few of the loops and then uh, go home early. We'll see. I'll see you in a little bit when it's actually dark. So we made it off the highway and as you can see it's almost dark now. Um, one of the things I didn't mention yet, it is the last ride for uh, Luke's older beloved Honda CBF 600. As you may know, he also buy the, bought a GS. But that still has a flat battery and no navigation. That still needs a bit of work. Yeah, I'm just lazy. <laughs> Any last words for the for the Honda or? I will miss it. Oh. It was a fun bike to ride, so though. Yes, it won't disappear because my sister she wants uh, to buy it for me. So. So it might still pop up once in a while on the channel, but not with, probably not with Luke on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I see I have to change the GoPro settings because barely see anything. I was ook wel adaptief so you can't be right. Yeah. First impressions of riding in the darkness. <laughs> It's detrimental for the average speed. Or well detrimental. We still average about the speed limit. It definitely takes a lot more effort and you need to take it a, a bit slower. In Zeeland there's not a lot of uh, wildlife to take care of. Although Luke almost managed to uh, hit uh, how, how do you call a haas or a rabbit. Yeah, almost hit you. <laughs> Almost uh, hit a rabbit or something like that. But in Zeeland there's also a lot of uh, farmlands. Now the, the farmers are not doing a lot on the farmlands at the moment. But especially around the time of the Dutch Thousand, um, there will be a lot of activities on the farmlands. And it w that will result in a lot of dirt on the road. And Luke, what did you say about the navigation? Yeah, it's a bit harder to know, uh, to see where you need to go. To be sure you stop some earlier so you don't miss a turn or something. Which, yeah. if you miss a turn, is also not so good for your average speed. No. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I'm really pleased about is uh, I changed the, uh, the uh, headlight of Red Rhino. And as you can see, or at least I hope you can see, it does give a lot more light. I think the only uh, video at night time that I have for Red Rhino uh, is uh, when we picked up uh, Luke's bike. And I don't think you can see any headlight in that. First tank stop, we did about 140 kilometers roughly. Fuel up, have some drinks. I changed the GoPro settings, so hopefully you can see something now. We'll see. So, all fueled up, rehydrated, had some snacks, and now we have another 250 kilometers to go. Only 250 kilometers. And I think it's time to turn the heated grips on. Not sure what you can see, I think the, on the GoPro, on the facecam, it's still dark. But maybe on the 
How much can you can still see, see something, but yeah, we'll see. Just finished my first stint of navigation. Wasn't too difficult, mainly a lot of national route unlet, but uh, well, pretty doable. I do need to tune the auxiliary lights because there were a lot of uh, oncoming cars flashing the, uh, the headlights because it was too bright or too much in their face. So <laughs> that's something I need to take a look at. Turn right. Not sure if you can see it, but there's a windmill that they really nicely lit during the night. Okay. Well, but the wind mee, hè? Stomme. Stomme weg, anders. Ik ga er niet voor je. Even kijken, heb ik... Uh, wat moet... Wat moet je hebben, Brian? Tape. Je kan toch weer waar de kant zetten, volgens mij. Ja, maar dat doet je niet meer. Ja, <laughs> ah, joh. Hè? Uh, ik heb wat anders wat misschien werkt. Wat? Rubberhands, groetjes. Ja, dat kan wel. Geen idee waarom we gevaar Later. Dat doet Peter toch iedere keer? <laughs> kan er ook niks aan doen. <laughs> en bij mij, bij mij ging die een andere route, hè? Dus, uh... ja, ja. ja, ik zit ook nog steeds niet op de, op de route. Dus, uh... Maar dit wat we met donker, dat is wel even een extra level. Uh... Second and uh, last tank stop, 120 kilometer left 22 122 kilometers left we're gonna finish uh, the, the complete run or the complete tour so what you what you well, or what I at least notice is that you you ride a little bit different at night, especially if you come out of corners, you don't, uh, I don't accelerate mid corner, but I upright the bike a little bit, so you can actually see a little bit more of the surface <laughs> before you put on the power. But in general, we do make pretty good time. Wildlife is something uh, definitely to, yeah, to be careful with, okay, a rabbit might not be such a big problem if you hit it, but if you hit it there, well, that uh, doesn't end up pretty. And we're coming off the, uh, the roundabout, they don't have it on the GoPro, and even if I would have caught it, you probably wouldn't see it. But there were three pretty big de uh, deer standing there, so on the side of the road, so maybe 10 meters away. So, yeah. And this is actually a place where there's not a lot of uh, wildlife. Ooh. And yeah, I'm uh, quite curious to see on the, on the GoPro or how it actually looks like. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. Was it any fun to watch or not? Useful or not? If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. I will see you next time. Bye.